blessing that India received. And we believe that it is our good fortune that uh, uh, we have the special responsibility to involve ourselves actively in the promotion of dialogue among different religions, faiths, cultures and civilizations exactly the way Mahatma Gandhi would have done. We're organizing a number of events all over the world and in Sweden in different cities, different communes to remember Gandhian ideals and philosophy. Although he's remembered for his struggle for India's independence from the British and he is revered, revered by us Indians as the father of our nation, uh, lovingly called Bapu, which actually means father of the nation. Mahatma Gandhi was actually a world citizen, which is what Jeanette and I were talking about. His message of peace, of truth and non-violence, these are universal values that have inspired generations of leaders around the world. His ideas and principles remain relevant even today, particularly as we continue to grapple with threats of intolerance, violence, terrorism, and wasteful consumption across the world. The power of peaceful means to seek justice. The effectiveness of non-violence in countering force. Respect for diversity within and between societies. Fighting social prejudices and promoting social reforms. Conservation of nature. Probity in public life. And simplicity in personal life. These are all enduring ideas that can help address many ongoing problems in the contemporary world. And these values are exactly what Mahatma Gandhi stood for.